So today on what can we fix, I guess we can call it what can we fix. <laughs> uh, I've got some boat gauges. The covers are, have some crazing or little micro cracks on it. When, uh, when you're out in the sun at a certain light hits it, it makes them almost unreadable. So it's either time to replace or fix them. And I'm gonna try to fix them first. So I've got some crazing or spider cracks in these lenses, right? In these lens covers right here. You see, if you're looking at straight on, you can't see them, but if you turn to the side, you see it's got all those little cracks in it. So we're gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna try to use, uh, try to wet sand it. Where'd my sandpaper go? I'm gonna start with, uh, 220 and wet sand it and we'll see what happens I think I'm gonna go 220 600 maybe 1200 and then 2000 and see if this makes it any better so I'll do some sanding and then come back so I'm back here's my progress been sanding for about 30 minutes with 220 I'm not sure if you can tell. At first I didn't think I was doing anything, but it's getting a lot better. So I've been using little bitty pieces of 220 like this. It's not focusing. Like that. Just dipping them in this cup. And then taking a little spray bottle and just spraying it off right there. So I'm going to keep on sanding, see if I can get all these out. This was the worst gauge. The rest of them have some light spider cracks in it. And if this works, I'm going to end up doing them all. So I'll be back when I'm done with the 220 sanding. So I'm done with step one. That was a 220. I don't know if you probably won't be able to see. All the cracks, or just about all the cracks are gone. There might be one or two of the really deep ones. I don't want to sand too much, but this is going to look, I think, a hundred times better. So we'll go on to step two, which is going to be 600 grit. I also started cutting the pieces a little bit smaller, kind of using them like this with my thumb. Seemed to work the best. And also these little pieces I was using them, you're probably better off to dip them in the water, use them probably not too long and then I was cutting new pieces. The, they seem to wear out kind of quick. So, all right, I'll be back after the 600 grit sand. All right, so that's after the 600 grit. It's starting to look a little clearer. Uh, these next steps shouldn't take as long because I'm not actually trying to get out cracks. I'm just trying to clear it up, make it clear. So just kind of going over it a little bit. You can see after it gets dry, it gets a little more cloudy. But hopefully after I go out with 1200 and then 2000, it'll look just like that one. So this gauge was actually the worst of all of them. All of them have a few, some of these little cracks in them can see if this works I'm gonna go over I'll probably go over all of them get them all out so be back after the 1200 grit so here we go with the thousand grit I think it's starting to get a little bit clearer kind of hard to tell because I think it's still got a little bit of stuff on it residue on it so we're hit, gonna hit it now with probably 1500, and then I'll do the 2000. We'll see if it clears up. So this is after 1500. A couple of goes at 1500. We're gonna go up to 2000. This is with the 2000 grit. 
you see it's starting to get quite a bit clearer after every round and then uh, hopefully we can get it back to where it looks like that one one thing I did is I got a little carried away right here <laughs> with a 220 sandpaper so I'll have to see if I can get some touch up paint and maybe fix that up a little bit and get it buffed out but I uh, definitely think it's going to be better than it was. So 2500 next. So this is after the 2500. You see it's getting quite a bit clearer. I think the last step is going to be to spray it with a clear gloss uh, UV protected paint. And I think that will make it shine just like that other one. And I think uh, what I should have done is taped that up before I started. That would take care of that little scuff there. So I'll probably do that when I do these. Of course, the rest of these are not as bad as this one was. But, uh, okay, back after the spray. So I'm back to finish. Try to finish this up. I've got, uh, as you see, I got it all taped off here, so I don't get any overspray. Um, the paint that I originally bought, when I got on my nose, it didn't have a, or didn't mention UV protection. So I went and got that. It's supposed to be non-yellowing and UV resistant. So we'll see how this works. I'm going to do a, a real light coat and then wait maybe five, ten minutes, do another coat and then do a third coat. So I'll do that and uh, come back and see how it turns out. So this is what I've got after three coats of paint. As you can see there, a lot better. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the video. It's still got a little bit of orange peel in it, so I think I'm going to go over it with uh, some 2500 sandpaper and then some uh, rubbing compound and then put some wax on it and be done. But overall, a lot better than it was. So this is the end product here. I did go back over it with 2500 and then uh, went over with some rubbing compound. Came out pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. Got rid of almost all the crazing crack, little micro cracks. Uh, I think it's gonna work really good. I've got uh, working on sand and the rest of them. Uh, the rest of them weren't as bad, so they shouldn't be as hard. That's it.